I know we we had said like, oh yeah, John's gonna cover this story. I cannot remember what now what it was that you, we were like, yeah, cover this immediately. Okay, so I'm not doing that story. Oh, okay. But I did cover a story that I wanted to cover that's a little shorter, but okay. I found it very frustrating and interesting at the same time, as you'll see why here in a second. We did cover this on headlines, but I did dive pretty deep into it. And this just happened. And so let's let's start. Tonight we are going to Google Earth. Thanks everyone for being here. Now I tried to find out exactly where this happened. It's on this street. The 1900 block of Rose Dawn Lane. I believe it is what we're what we're going to tonight is like this house right here, but not in the front. I believe it's here in the back, and I'll show you why. I, I think that in a second. But can you tell me about this neighborhood and the houses? Oh damn, that is a nice ass house. Yeah, That's a mansion. That's yeah, a mansion right there. Yeah, mansion. So anyway, this is where we're going to tonight. These houses are pretty big. How much do you think this house is worth? Um, what state are we in? We're in Texas. Spring. Texas. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to say that's a... Oh, my God. Dude, our garbage men do shit like this, too. Like, literally just... Flip it. Flip it and throw the lid everywhere. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to say that's like a... a I'm going to say that's a million dollar house. A million dollars. Look how close they are together, though. I mean, that's a big ass house. Yeah. I mean, maybe like maybe like 950, but I'm, I'm going to say that's, that's about a million dollars right there. All right. Tonight, we're going to December 6, 2021. It's a Monday... I just showed you the house that we were at. Can you look this house up on Zillow for its value? Because now that you said it, I want to yeah, know. Yeah, I can do that. You, you can go get, I want a Zestimate, please. Please and thank you. What was it called? Rose Rose something. Dawn Lane. Yeah. Like you, you left me hanging. I had to guess and I want to know how, how Why? Because you want to compare? This is way more than ours. Holy shit. I mean, it's huge. All right, Zillow. Okay, so here's here's 19806 in Zillow, Texas. Oh man. Mm-mm. Off market estimate 686. What? You're way off. That that's for this house right here. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Damn, you can get a lot of house in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, holy shit. Look, this was four, 45 or $450,000 for this one. Look at this. Should we, It's we, a fucking sh- mansion. Should we move to Texas? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? $450,000? Damn. Four bedrooms built in 1980. That's a that's crazy. No shit, dude. Look at that thing. How many square feet is that thing? 3600 square feet. Jesus. That's huge. That staircase looks like the one from Home Alone. Sydney. Yeah, but then you got to live in Texas. <laughs> 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 Dude, look, all of these are super cheap, man. Jeez. Oh, does this mean the housing market's going to crash again? Jacob said you should see the price of Kansas houses. Is it even better? Dang. Like, this is the only $1 million one on Zillow around here. Jesus. Dude, I was, I'm surprised, man. That was way less than I thought it would be. No shit. Look, dude, this is a great deal for this home right here. Yeah, price per square footage ain't bad. No shit. Dude, and it's got a swimming pool. Dude, this has a swimming pool. We are not getting commissions off of these homes, but if anyone does decide to move, I feel like we should. Is this not a good place to be? It's 2,700 square f- Sorry, guys. This is not part of the story, but holy shit. Damn. All right. Anyway, let's get this going, dude. All right. So that's where we're going to tonight. And I'm going to show you a video. And you guys have seen this on headlines before, but there was a couple questions that I had specifically about why this happened and the sentence that this person got. So that's why I'm covering this now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this is? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Goodbye, Breeze. Nice to see you. You go meet Jesus. You really want this on video? I'll pull it. I'm mad enough to just pull it. So in this story, the victim is the filmer of this and her husband is clearly intoxicated and shoots her with a shotgun. So one more time, the the husband finds out the wife is cheating on him. And this is at that house I showed you, this big, nice house mm-hmm. in the driveway in broad daylight. Now, this was like one in the afternoon. Husband comes out drunk. His robe is open. His penis is hanging out and he 
takes a shotgun, a really nice looking shotgun, and he shoots his wife while he's being filmed by his wife, shoots her three times, and she just dies there on the pavement. Okay. All right. Goodbye, Breeze. Nice to see you. Jesus. He says goodbye, Reese. Her name is Patricia. As you'll see, her name, everyone calls her Reese. R-I-C-I. Reese. So he says goodbye, Reese. You're going to meet Jesus. And then she says, do you really want to do this? And lets him know that she's actually filming it. And then he shoots. Now, we don't have the actual footage of him shooting, but jurors did have to see all of that. And this was only a few weeks ago. Mm. And he was just sentenced. The reason I want to do this case is more about the sentencing than okay. anything. He is expected to stay in prison for a whopping five years. He got 10 years in prison, but he can apply for parole within five years. Wow. For killing his wife in broad daylight. While on video. On video with a shotgun. He, he will be getting five years in prison. Jacob said I'd cheat on him too. <laughs> so there's a lot of reasons why I think this case is super important. I think there's a lot of thing, broken things going on. Because as one person pointed out, which we'll get to, quote, you could get more time than that for a cannabis vape. Wow. <laughs> he shoots shoots his wife to death on video and he will spend the next five years in prison. I am just, I'm really surprised. Like, I know that when we covered this, the, you know, defense strategy was to not, not like try to say it didn't happen, but to provide context Mm -hmm. and make it be more of like it was a heat of the moment kind of crime of passion situation. Mm -hmm. I am still shocked that an all-female jury would only give him 10 years. Well, there's a reason. I finally figured out what the reason was. And when I figured that out, I I was done with the case. I knew that I had the reason. There's a reason. Okay. A specific reason. All right. You're but, like, I'll tell you at the very end of this episode. <laughs> Stay tuned. Patricia Reese Birmingham. This is her right here. This is her obituary. That's her and her daughter. Ollie. Reese was 48 years old, quote, vivacious, full of life, and beautiful both inside and out. Friends closest to her said she was loved by all and a true spitfire of a woman. Reese was not only bright, hardworking, but she also had a very successful career. Do you want to take a guess in what? She's been a success in many careers, including being a certified and registered cardiovascular technologist, but she dropped that and picked up real estate. And she was a top earner of real estate. She was in the multi-million program that there's like on her Facebook, there's photos of her trophies, these golden trophies. She was the one of the top earners in her group, in her real estate group. Got it. Okay. Always traveling, always getting awards for it. She was exceptional at her job. She left the hospital due to COVID man- mandates and became the one of the top real estate agents in all of Houston. She was a mentor to many agents and she was the top salesperson in 2020. She leaves working in health in 2020, and that same year, she becomes the t- one of the top wow. real estate sales women in Houston. Wow! So that's pretty incredible. Jacob says, uh, "I live on the Texas Oklahoma border, and if you cross the state line with a vape, you're going to prison for way longer than that. That's crazy. What? Cross the line into Texas? Uh, or I, I'm not sure which which way, uh, which Shit. is stricter. Uh, and Lauren says she probably cheated on him with a buyer. Well, that'll be. I'm wondering if you found that in your research." I, d- I did, but we'll get to that in a second. Did he work or was he living off of her because he looked like a slob blob, she says. He is a slob blob, yes. Oh, he- in Texas, it's illegal. Okay, so if they were crossing into Texas, got it. This case is officially over. The jury deliberated for an hour, actually 45 minutes because they took a 15-minute pee-, pee break. 45 minutes, they came back and issued the five-year, well, 10-year sentence, but five years until he can pull- apply for parole For, I, yeah that's crazy 45 minutes that's i mean the poor daughter well try to think of a reason why this happened well once you do the story and and so i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it for most of the story and i can't think of a reason that would make me think that that's an okay sentence luckily for most of the story i found the facebook page of the sister who has been the front runner anyway so the facebook page that the 
sister created goes in depth of everything. And it's really terrible because she started the page in 2020. Obviously, the trial just happened a few weeks ago. He was sentenced on March 5th. So that was that was last week. That was a week ago, yeah. So last week he was sentenced on March 5th. Mm-hmm. So going through her Facebook page, which is a lot about domestic violence, because that's what she was living through. She wasn't only living through domestic violence, but she was living through emotional abuse and financial abuse mm. by her husband. Okay, it's really heartbreaking to see the sister who started the page in 2020 looking to spread information about domestic violence to finally get up to the trial, all the postponed dates of the trial. She's got the community together. Okay, it's verdict time. Mm -hmm. She's excited. You know, okay, he's going to go away for a long time. And then it's really heartbreaking to see that next Facebook post announcing that he's only getting five years. Because that's what it's going to be, five years. You know, they're not going to keep him in any longer. Mm. So it's pretty sad to see that. But anyway, moving on. Her 16-year-old daughter, Olivia, meant the world to her. She leaves behind two stepsons, daughters-in-law, grandson, nephew, niece, and a long, loving, extended family. She was a born-again Christian. Her obituary states that Reese, no doubt, entered heaven with the same joy she had on earth. She left the world a better place. Nothing sparked a bigger smile or more sparkle in her eyes than the mention of Olivia, fondly known as Ollie. If you had a minute to listen, she would graciously share all she could about her red-headed, volleyball-loving beauty. They were best friends. All right. So going back to the video, and the video is everything. You got to see the video. This is, the video is really haunting. It's basically a minute clip of this guy. He's drunk. He's got a big belly. He's ex- he's, he's exposed and he's pointing a shotgun and exclusive audio from ABC said that she was having an extramarital affair. So I'm going to let you hear that now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done too. Don't blame him. Get the f- out. The audio shows that Carrie had just learned that his wife was cheating on him. She says, "Don't blame him." He says, "All right, goodbye. You're going to meet Jesus." All right, that is the video and what we know so far. But let's go a little deeper. All right, I went to the sister's Facebook, and this is what what I found about this guy, Carrie. Pretty sad when I talked to my 10-year-old daughter who asked on her own how long he got for killing her aunt. I told her he will be gone for a long time. She asked again how many years. I told her 10 years. She started crying and said that's not enough. I could not tell her that the reality will be five, maybe six. How does a 10-year-old know that when an entire jury did not? So Carrie and Patricia's daughter did testify in court that he was not a he was not physically abusive. However, the sister thinks that that may have not been the case. There's a family friend here in the Facebook that said the following. This man said awful things to his daughter in a very loud voice. His daughter will say she probably deserved it and will deny this as it was in a shooting range. I don't agree. I love his daughter and I love Reese forever. I would stand behind some I would stand behind someone who has a love for their husband and I see the love between the two, but this is a no. Nobody talks to their daughter like this in a gun range or anywhere. As one of the family friends. This is pointing out who this guy is Mm. like this wasn't just one of the things man he like he is not a good good person you know what i'm saying she posts a lot about him being a narcissist as well Mm, interesting Uh, natasha's speculation is that did he get so little time because of the intoxication and her affair jacob commented maybe she refused to get a divorce very interesting all right so a, a lot of this stuff is i'm coming from the facebook because it's not available it it's, Texas is pretty sealed up with some of their stuff. Like the police reports not available. The the uh, Carrie Birmingham versus the states not available. Stuff like that. But. As far as the cheating goes, can you read the first Facebook from Mary D's, the sister? There is zero evidence of my sister cheating. And just prior to her death, she was telling Carrie all of the people she was not cheating with that he claimed she was. This was all in his head. My sister was not perfect, but she was not cheating and did not deserve to be executed. That's pretty big right there. You know, we don't have all the audio, so we don't know what that she was talking about 
don't blame him. You know, he probably yeah. said something about a coworker. Don't blame him, the person that she's not even cheating on him with anyway. The sister says that she's not the type of person to cheat and she does not cheat. I take that over anything else. Mm. So at this point, she was not cheating, which shouldn't even be an issue. It's not. I mean, I guess it, it plays a bit into a crime of passion situation. All right. So that, that's a good point. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. No, you. Go ahead. Right. No. So you just said it plays into a crime of passion. This specific defense is not called crime of passion. It's called sudden passion. Okay. That's what they deemed it. Sudden passion. Okay. All right. One of the family friends says, I'm sorry. I don't see anything sudden about following someone around with a shotgun for half an hour first. Interesting. It seems like on Twitter there have been over 25 million views of my sister's death. Shockingly, many people, including women, stated she deserved it for cheating. She refused to back down to her man. My sister was not cheating. There was no proof, and she was telling him she wasn't before she was ex- before being executed. Anyone who knew my sister for her strength, and and I would not expect her to back down as she was leaving and wanting to be left alone. Okay, so let me talk about the sentence right quick. This is what we know so far. This did happen during COVID lockdowns. He received 10 years. He posted bond. He was on house arrest before he was sentenced for for murder. Wow. He was on house arrest. The system is broken. Posting bond in this part of Texas is as little as 2%, Mm -hmm. which is nothing, right? He murdered his wife and basically went on house arrest. It was an all-women jury, which that's... That's nothing suspicious about. I mean, it is kind of crazy that it's an all female jury. All right, all female jury. I think it's less. I think that what's surprising about it is that the female jury would not be as harsh on him. Hold on, but that's during void year. It is that that's nothing that he can control. So a lot of people were speculating. Well, maybe he paid off this person or that person. I will say that he does have. He did have a man named Sean Tier on his defense team, which I looked up who this guy was. This is this guy. What to know about Sean Tier, the Democrat nominee for Harry? County DA. So he's running for DA. Okay. District attorney. Yep. And he was on the defense team of this guy. That's pretty crazy to get the def- this this guy who's going to be the DA on your defense team, in my opinion. All right. A lot of people think that's kind of shady. I, I kind of want to agree. Anyway, mm. moving forward. Ultimately, it was a all women ju- all woman jury, the possibility of parole after five years. And disgustingly, he also has to pay a five thousand dollar fine. Which which is nothing. What's the fine for? Indecent for, for, exposure? No, for murder. You pay a $5,000 fine for murdering someone? Yeah. I mean, it's usually a lot more than that, you know? Well, I thought that's where it's a... Uh, you got to pay for the court fees and all case. that stuff. Oh, interesting. All right. Olivia said during the trial, quote, I don't know. Sudden passion. You have to have something. You have to have made the decision within yourself for a while. I feel like doing something to do that to someone you really love. This is his daughter. She claimed that he never abused her, but he put her through emotional and financial abuse. The last time she ever spoke to her father, she accused him of killing her favorite person in the world. Quote, no matter what was said in this trial, you know what type of woman she was and you know what you did and how he took away my favorite person in the world. Mm. She said she still loved her father, but she can never forgive him. Let's talk about why he only got 10 years. Okay, because once I figured this out, this changed everything. Now that I've had a moment to look at this law regarding sudden passion, I am extremely pissed as it directly revolves around the victim of the homicide being responsible for a significant part of their own murder. No justice. Sudden passion is a concept recognized by Texas law and incorporated into its penal system. It refers to passion directly by and arising out of provocation by the individual killed or another acting with the person killed. The sister Mary Dees said when she heard the verdict, I don't know if I have publicly said this in such a disbelief, not only a verdict from all women, but it only took them a total of one freaking hour to decide. I'm sure they had to take a restroom break, so actually... My guess is less than 45 minutes from start to finish. I woke up today just as confused and shocked that 12 jurors, all women, came to the conclusion after watching a horrific video 
of my sister's last 30 plus minutes of her life came back to a unanimous verdict verdict of sudden passion. In the video, you see the shotgun pointed directly at her, which made it feel to all watching that it was pointed directly to the viewer. Over 30 minutes that a, quote, man could have gained control, multiple times this man said, I should just kill you. I am going to kill you. All I need to do right now is not kill you. My sister was strong and would not back down or show fear to this man that was to protect her. However, I do believe she knew what the outcome was going to be and even mentioned it. It is shown that this man even tried to hide the evidence and move her body before a neighbor witnessed the body on the cold, wet cement of the driveway. Now, I say when neighbors, neighbors heard the shouting, they heard the gunshots, and they did see him try to move the body. Then he did nothing. He just went back into the house. Didn't even call the police or anything. He just went back into the house. So he tried to cover it up. Once the police arrived, this man never showed remorse or worried about his dead wife on the concrete. He was only worried and complained that his cuffs were on too tight, that he was uncomfortable in the police cruiser, not properly dressed, why it was taking so long, and being embarrassed that his neighbors were watching and that things would be better if he would be allowed to talk to the police and Inside the house. Multiple body cams showed him, and never once he showed any remorse or care for my sister, but only himself. Justice was not given here. My sister did not deserve this. Carrie Birmingham is not the victim. Okay, so I told you why this why he only got five years. I still don't understand why. This is how how I put it in terms that you should, everyone should understand. I wrote this, but this is in my mind why this guy is only getting five years. Can you just read it? Let me say this. Carrie Birmingham wasn't sentenced to five years for murdering his wife while on camera. The victim, Patricia Birmingham, was sentenced for her alleged infidelity. She cheated and was punished, and this is why Carrie Birmingham will be out of prison in five years. Do you not agree? An all yeah. female, all female jury saw that she was cheating. Yeah, which now we don't even know if that's true. And that is why that is why he is only getting five years. Yeah, that's horseshit. Is that not the is cannot not be the reason? No, you're right. That I don't I don't see another reason. Yeah, I, I really don't. For thirty minutes, we don't have the whole video, but he said, "All right, goodbye. You're going to meet Jesus." The wife even told him that she was filming, quote, you really want this on video? He replies, I'll pull it. I'm mad enough to pull it. He puts a shotgun at her face for 30 minutes. When the wife alerted him that he was being filmed, the suspect said, I'll pull it. I'm mad enough to even pull it before he fired three times. At this time, ABC, citing neighbors, reported that the suspect was seen not helping his wife after he shot her. Yes, he was drunk, and this is not the only time he's been drunk. I found this doing my digging. This is Birmingham versus State. I haven't even really read it yet, but appellant Kerry Birmingham was arrested and charged for the misdemeanor offense of driving while intoxicated. Mm. So he has a background of drinking. That is not an excuse. I believe that he was only given 10 years, five years, most likely, because she cheated. I believe that she was judged for her infidelity, and that is why no justice was done. That is my opinion, but I I hope other people share yes. my opinion. I, I do want to read some of the Reddit and um, tweets that I found. Call me old-fashioned, but I think murder should be life in prison. Another person yeah. says, murder should be met with the death penalty. Another person says, I am sorry, but this kind of murder should lead to the death penalty, an eye for an eye. Another one says, how can anyone take someone's life and just get a few years. I'm more for the death penalty. If there's hard proof, why even keep them in the system? Another one says, was on a jury last year for an aggravated robbery here in Houston. The victim was shot but didn't die. We sentenced the robber to 33 years for that. Guy shooting and killing his wife gets only 10. What a joke. Another, this is ghastly. Why did he only get a 10-year sentence? Another, should have walked away from her and maintained his 
his dignity and lose the gut he will in prison no matter how long he's there. I honestly don't care that she cheated and they argued. Five to ten years is too short a sentence for fatally shooting your wife. Condolences to the daughter. She seems like a lovely young woman dealing with an unimaginable trauma. Fuck Carrie Birmingham. More like the jury sentenced the victim for infide- infidelity. Because let's be real, that's what happened here. It's a further symptom of the completely fucked up psyche in the average American. I, I haven't read all these yet, but this is it. This was basically the jury saying that she deserved it. And she didn't. Infidelity or not. Like, there's never... You rarely get such clear evidence yeah. that someone killed another person. It shouldn't even matter if she was cheating. No, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't matter that he was drunk. Because as we've seen, he's a fucking drunk. So he knows how to handle his fucking alcohol. That's what he does all day long. You see that? That's a beer gut. He drinks all fucking day long and does nothing with his life. He knows how to handle it. Okay? That's not an excuse. The cheating shouldn't be an excuse. The sister says she was not cheating at all. That's not an excuse. So why was he only sentenced to 10 years? That is pathetic. It is pathetic. Wait, not even that. It's, it's disgusting because it's not even 10 years. It's 10 years with a possibility of parole after five years yeah. for fucking killing your wife with a shotgun. Dude, you could. There are people that can get more years for firing a shotgun in a residential neighborhood, just firing it. You know, you'll, your fine will be more than $5,000. I know. You shot your wife. Dead. Dead in your driveway. And it was filmed. And you were getting five fucking years in prison. That's a, it's a joke. And only, it's a joke. And not even that, you bonded out and spent all this time, literally years, because the trial just happened. This happened in 2021. He spent three years on effing house arrest. Does that count towards his 10? Yeah. That's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is, and it's it's mad it's maddening because this I wanted the, to do the this. case is closed, like it's yeah. done. You can't. It's not like he's going to appeal it. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I knew there was more to the video. I, I wanted to do that because, like, if if you want to really get pissed off, go and join Mary D's Facebook. It's called Justice for Reese, R-I-C-I. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, it it's is heartbreaking. heartbreaking. Because she not only, you know, has to fly out to every thing, but she says, like, she was her sister's best friend. And she talks about in her Facebook page how, like, she went to the courtroom and victims aren't allowed to, like, go in the courtroom. And she had a outside it's it's complete bullshit wow it, it's it's disgusting texas, man texas is surprisingly disappointing with their penalties yeah We've but talked come about on this. but yeah but an all-female jury i know i know and i do think it's interesting that's one of those um where i feel like it's a very conservative state and i think sydney had mentioned this earlier where like the guy who tried to um who like was poisoning his wife so his wife would abort their oh yeah child he got less prison time and then in, if his wife actually like wanted to get an abortion Jesus in the state, Christ. it's kind of like one of those ass backward family value type things yeah. where even though, you know, the the husband killed the wife, it was, oh, because she cheated she on her cheated. husband, she which we cheated. don't even know if is true, but it's the like, what, it's an ass backward family value, conservative morphism bullshit. It's exactly that. Women, you should be fucking pissed Everyone she should be she did not or he was convicted a short time because she cheated. She was punished for her infidelity. That is what this case is about. Which is besides the point, but it's also like which may have not even been accurate. He is a piece of shit. He was emotionally, I would say physically from what the sister says, domestic abuse, physically, emotionally abusive and she cheated allegedly and now she's being punished. Yeah. She's being punished she's dead and she's being punished just the fact that they let him bond out is fucking disgusting i never knew that that was a thing if you murder there i, I thought you had to be in prison the, you can't set bail for that like i mean it, would, it's usually really high i mean imagine but, like that's your neighbor that's why i say it's usually really high but it's less than two percent i mean or and you're you may be under like we remember we just talked about the folly beach 
girl. Yeah. Like she's under house arrest right now. Yeah, but she didn't murder someone. Well, I mean, it, yeah, she, yeah, exactly. But you know, this guy cold blooded murdered. It wasn't a sudden, sudden passion. For thirty minutes, he followed her around with a shotgun pointed at her. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and he's getting five fucking years. Five fucking years. Because that's what it's going to be. Five years. He's going to get out in five fucking years. It's a joke. It is a joke. She got punished for cheating. Unacceptable. That is why he got five years. So once I figured that out, it's like, okay, I know what know what this is about. It took me a while. And going through all, like, all the Facebook, I'm like, I get it. She's fucking being blamed. Yeah. So, and I'm trying to do more stories, like everyone's stories. So keep posting them in there. Got a long way to go. Well, it was, thank you for covering that story. That was, um, Piss, pissed you God, off. it really does irk me. Like, I, I mean, it's just, I can't imagine being on that jury. No shit. Man. And, and being like, yeah, I'm cool with this. Yeah. I think it, I think it I'm actually, out. let's all go home. I think it actually helped him an all female jury. Because everyone's so passive. No, because like, if females like do that. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but like they're mean to other women. Yeah, you know, kind of shit. I know that sounds crazy. I didn't mean it like in a bad way, but no, it's not inaccurate. I mean, I, because if I was on the jury, I would look at the guy like a piece of shit and be like, dude, what the fuck? I mean, the cheating thing shouldn't even be an argument. Holy shit! But that's what the case is. That's what it is. Like it gives you the right. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, dude. Five fucked fucking up. years. What a crazy shit, man. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed i know it's kind of short but that was great yeah uh, thanks everybody for joining yeah thanks everyone and we'll see you tomorrow for some headlines and yeah there you go hasta manans all right until next time good night you lovely lovely people kind of run this shit